And now it's time for the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Friday, November 18th, 2011. Today's pricing games played were the following to end the week. One Right Price, Any Number, Secret X, Pushover, Stack the Deck, and Swap Me. The first contestant was Gerald. He played One Right Price for a Vespa LX150 IE motor scooter, modeled by Ravishing Rachel and a SunbrightTV.com 55-inch all-weather outdoor LCD HD TV that's weatherproof, modeled by Awesome Amber. Gorgeous Gwendolyn brought out the one right price of $6,870. Gerald believed it went to the motor scooter. And when Gwendolyn revealed what the one right price was, it turned out to be... $5,289. Should have went to the HD TV that's weatherproof. Though, to be honest, I actually thought he had it. Deanna played any number, or I should say Dina, that's her name. Dina played any number for a chance to win either a 2012 Ford Mustang V6 Coupe, modeled by Gwendolyn, four G-Shock men's watches, modeled by Amber, or Money in the Piggy Bank. The first number in the car was 2. Dina first chose 7, and that was the third number in the car. Then she chose 5, and that was the first number in the watches. Then she chose the other 2, and that went to the second number in the watches. Then she chose 0. That was the third number in the watches. So she won $520 worth of men's watches. I really didn't want her to choose zero because I knew it was going to go to the watches. She should have chose three, one, and eight for the car, $23,718. However, Dina's small win in any number for those G-Shock men's watches marks as a constellation win. Jamar played Secret X for a rich mission style Nico Ashley Furniture Company bedroom group along with a Comfort Air Luxor Queen mattress plus house cleaning twice a month for a year from the maids all modeled by Gwendolyn valued at $9,059. She placed her free X on the top left corner and in her chance of winning two more X's Amber modeled the Price is Right Decades video game for the Nintendo Wii and a three-piece brush set from Purdy. First four of the Price is Right Decades, Tamar believed it was $30 and not $21. Amber revealed the price to be $30. Tamar placed her earned X on the bottom right corner. Next for the three-piece brush set from Purdy, Tamar believed it was $20 and not $52. Although Amber had a little bit of difficulty revealing the price, it turned out that the price was $20! Her second or next went to the bottom left corner, so the Secret X had to be in the middle or on the bottom for her to win. If it was on top, no can do. Where was the Secret X, you ask? Well, it was behind the middle spot! She won her prize package! Yeah! Genie, like Genie in a Bottle, G-E-N-I-E, played Pushover for a trip to Cape Cod, modeled by Amber. Her starting push price was $115. Came out at 0115 on the block. She pushed three more times for a total of four pushes with three blocks going over, ending at a price of $6,780. Actually felt good on that price. The actual retail price! $6,780! She's on her way to Cape Cod! Rashad played Stack the Deck for a Jeep Compass Sport, modeled by Rachel. Gwendolyn was in charge of placing the numbers. For his first chance of winning a free number, Rashad believed the product that cost $2.99 
was the seven ounce container of ready whipped whipped cream top whipped cream topping or whipped cream instead of the two ounce bottle of Mech Ale Henny Company hot sauce. It was the ready whip. That was two ninety nine. He chose the fourth number for free and that turned out to be a three. Next for the product that cost three dollars ninety nine cents, he believed it was the twenty ounce bag of Mission Tortilla Chips instead of the 1.9 ounce package of Splenda Sweetener. It was the chips. They were $3.99. He chose the second number for free, and that was a 6. And finally, for the product he believed that cost $8.99, he chose the TheraBreath Toothpaste instead of the Rockstar Energy Drink that came with 16 ounce bottles, four of them to be precise, in a in a small box. It was the toothpaste, that was eight ninety nine, and he chose the fifth number for free and that was an eight. He chose the right numbers for his free picks. Now for the first two numbers. He chose two for the first number and he chose four for the second number instead of the one or the seven I believe to make the price twenty four thousand six hundred thirty eight dollars. The actual retail price twenty one thousand six thirty eight. I so wanted him to choose one because that's what I was thinking it was. Oh. Finally, Destiny played swap meet for a twenty-two piece Lake Crusade cookware set modeled by Rachel, along with three pairs of Prada shoes modeled by Gwendolyn. A 14.2 megapixel Sony SLR digital camera modeled by Amber, and a grill dome Kamado barbecue smoker also modeled by Amber. Destiny swapped the cookware for the digital camera. Amber revealed the price of the digital camera to be $1,650. So if that cookware set was $1,650, she'd win all four prizes. And Rachel revealed the price of the cookware to be. Eight hundred one dollars. She should have swapped the barbecue smoker. Mm. So, we ended the week with two pricing game wins. They were Secret X and Pushover. We also gave away four G-Shock men's watches in any number, plus one thousand dollars in the second showcase showdown won by Rashad. I'm giving Dina contestant recognition for her small any number win. And now on to the MVPs. They are Tamar and Jeannie for their price game win. And to Rashad for not just his $1,000 win in the second showcase showdown, but he won himself a 2012 Honda Civic LX in the showcase. Missed out and stacked the deck, but he made up for it in the showcase. Well done. This week, the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap was sponsored by AMC Stuff. Collect memories, get rewards. And now on to the sponsor spoiler. Next week, the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap will be sponsored by Orbit White Gum. Now, before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to Mason Ben 2011, who recently made up to more than 25 subscribers on his channel. Plus, he wanted me to note out that on today's show, I believe, I saw it in the credits, that one contestant was deemed ineligible on the prizes. He pointed that out to me, so I want to give him credit for that. And, uh, please go to his channel. I'm going to, I'm going to have a link in the description for you to go to his channel and please subscribe. Alright, folks, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all on Monday.